welcome back to Art a la carte and in today's video I'm going to show you how to draw a tree. So this one actually is going to be focusing more on how to draw a basic tree um, trunk with branches, no leaves. We're not going to worry about leaves on this one. And again there are so many different types of trees the way the branches go. I'm going to be using a poplar. So here I have a poplar tree that's already drawn out. I want to kind of take some time to show you some of the things I did in this drawing um, and then we can work on one together. And the first thing that I started off with and you'll notice is the actual base of the tree. This is the main part of the tree, the one that with the branches come out of. And you'll see that even though it is pretty straight, it's not ruler straight. You never want to draw a tree with a ruler. Um, trees are very organic. That's why they're fun to draw is because you don't have to have that completely awesome straight line. You're also going to notice that gradually, very gradually, it begins to get thinner and thinner and thinner. This is a mistake a lot of people make when they draw their trees is they start off really thick and they get really thin really fast or they keep it the same thickness all the way up. There is just a slight gradual thinning of the tree trunk in a poplar. Then it has different branches that come out. With a poplar tree the branches will come out and then they kind of all arc up skyward. They all kind of go on their own little business, but they're all trying to make their way closer to sunlight. That's their kind of their goal. The last thing is the root system on a poplar isn't really huge above ground. A below ground, of course, is, uh, they have a nice root system, but you're not going to find these really gnarly, you know, roots that you might see maybe in an oak tree or some of the other different types of trees. So they just kind of come in and just kind of flush out into the ground just a little bit. So when I draw my tree, I start with my basic center tree line. And again, I draw really lightly because I'm going to kind of mess around with it. I might tweak it a little bit. But I start just with that, that typical line. And I try to keep it fairly straight. I don't want it to be tipping over to a side. Um, I want to keep it pretty much up and down. But it's not ruler straight. If I were to take my ruler, you'll see it goes in that general direction, but it might come in a little bit and out a little bit. So then I want to begin to build the strength to my tree, and I'll just take my pencil and I'm just going to kind of start at the top or the bottom. I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm just going to start thickening that line up. Depending on how far your branches go out, will determine how thick this main part of the tree needs to be. If it has branches that go way off here, it's going to need to be tough because it has to be able to support the weight of this branch, otherwise it's going to snap. Now even though I'm still pretty thin, I'm going to start in with sketching in some of my branches. And this is the part where you just can have kind of fun. And just kind of wiggle those, those lines out there. Don't worry about the little tiny twigs yet, just kind of get those branches the way you want them. Okay, once you have the main branches out, and you'll see they kind of come out and then they work up and they go out a little bit and they work up. Um, once, once you have those out, now you can begin to think about the individual little branches on the limbs. They come and usually in a bend or something is a good place to to put a branch that juts out. And there's really just no right or wrong way to add your branches in. Just whatever looks good to you. Uh, I find just, I love looking at trees, I love taking pictures of trees, and they could just get crazy and wild and weird and different and beautiful. Um, they're just their own little, they're their own person, you know. They each have their own little personality. So just have fun creating your little branches and you can get as detailed as you want. You can add as many trees as you'd like. So there you go, an easy how to draw a tree with no leaves, kind of maybe a tree in winter time. And I'll probably do some videos on how to draw some foliage on your trees. Um, but until next time, just keep practicing. And um, there you go. Thanks for watching. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.